Hi, I'm Katie Ani, and I work in technical service for the Scotchlight brand reflective material business. And today's topic is garment labeling. It is important to have the correct amounts of compliant background material and retroreflective on a garment. But did you know having the correct labeling is equally important? The information on the label clearly relates important information to you, the end user, so you can make sure it's the right garment for you and your crew. Let's go over some label examples. Let's first take a look at an example of a non-flame resistant label. The items required by the ANSI 107 2015 standard are name of manufacturer, trademark, or some other way to identify who's made the garment, the standard the garment meets, the name, type, or code of the product, the size, a pictogram that either depicts the garment or the universal pictogram shown here. Next to the pictogram, you also need to reference the type, class, and for non-flame resistant garments, you must put the wording not FR. There is also a non-flame resistant statement required. You also want to include the maximum number of washings. And finally, washing instructions per ASTM D5489-14. All of these items can be on the same label or on more than one label. Next, we will take a look at the requirements for a label on a flame resistant garment. Many requirements are the same as previous slides. Name of manufacturer, trademark, or some other way to identify who has made the garment. The standard the garment meets. The name, type, or code of the product. The size. A pictogram that either depicts the garment or the universal pictogram shown here. Next to the pictogram, you also need to reference the type, class, and the flame resistant standard it meets after the letters FR. Also include the maximum number of washes. And finally, washing instructions per ASTM D548914. As mentioned earlier, with non flame resistant garments, all of these items can be on the same label or on more than one label. Keep in mind that all labeling should be permanently attached to the garment and must be visible and legible. Lastly, manufacturers are required to make sure the label is durable during wash and after the number of wash cycles stated in the label, still be legible. Remember, when you have high visibility questions, 3M is here to help. 